everybody it has been a hot minute um, I have a couple unboxings to do I also have some setup videos that I need to get through um, but it was all worth it because I've been getting accepted to the schools that I've been applying to um, and it was a lot of work I shared some of that uh, on other videos so thanks for hanging around and welcome if you're new here. So I believe there's a whole lot of stuff going on in here. Luxury and simplicity bag. I, don't, I always feel bad that I never know what to use these bags for. And I guess this is a paperweight. It's a ball of cement in the box. That's fantastic. You can use it for myofascial release. <laughs> That's my husband, ladies and gentlemen, non-binaries. Um, yes, myofascial release. It doesn't stick to the wall to needle my shoulders. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's... See, as one who is trying to minimize tchotchkes, that looks kind of cute, but... Am I going to use it? I don't know. Oh, which, if you've made it this far, 90 seconds in, I hope you made it this far. I have a box full of um, some planner inserts and just general stuff that I thought of um, selling. So I was able to pass along two of the other bulk sales I did. Now, this is a lot smaller, and I'll probably post about it, but... If you're interested in basically what would be just like a grab bag of planner stuff, um, just mention it in the comments or DM me uh, at Petunia Rose on Instagram. Um, I'm happy to send it to a happy home where it'll be loved. So, uh, okay, so this is the archive box, I guess, for your planner stuff. My friends, if I showed you the actual archive I use for my planners, it is a whole lot bigger. <laughs> it's cute, but like, I don't know. You can put stuff in it, and let me see if I have stuff to put in it. Um, you can put stuff in it, but then you only have one archive box that looks like that. And, you know, then what? You'd have to get like a bunch of them and then you have to put the ears on them. But here, I actually happen to have like old inserts. Here are my schools, notes, um, A5 schools. I still need a goal plan. Y'all, I need a lot to do. Um, but I'll just stick these in here for now. Um, I haven't even goal planned for the year because January has been the greatest extension of 2022. Um, yeah, complete and total extension of 2022. Would these even fit? That would, but I don't even know if that would get me. I'll just chit chat with you. Um, I used to do a Franken planner for my happy planner. Um, with two different planners. I used to use one for journaling. And then for an entire year, I couldn't find a horizontal layout to do journaling with my uh, vertical spread. And so I thought I would try a new, um, a new layout. Didn't work. <laughs> I had broken it like two minutes. But I had really good intentions. So let's see, so I'm showing you for size because I was going to pull this apart anyway for it. Um, I can just get rid of the empty pages, but let's just for funsies show you folds if you're curious. So this would be the inserts of two full-size happy planners plus some because every once in a while for the whole setting I would use the 
the teacher layout inserts. I actually still do as much as all the other planners I do. I still like to come back to my happy planner roots from time to time. I did buy another one for this year. I just haven't written in it yet. Okay, so there's that. So that fits two full classic happy planner classic size, which is actually not too bad. And then these are my some of my A5 bowl inserts that has coffee stain. Look at this coffee. And that's that. So that is about all it would fit. I don't think I could put the office covers it completely. Um, I started using something like this to map out like PTO days and other just trying to figure out when am I going to do what. Um, I really actually liked it. It was kind of on a whim that I purchased that. But I did get this new one for this year. Um, so I'm enjoying it so far. Feels really nice. I think I got this at Target. Pretty sure I got that at Target. Um, but I like using it. It's thin and compact and it's not like this massive honking like a, if, literally if this if this fits my two happy planners that would be basically the size of the planner to carry around so that works really well just for something on the side <clears throat> to have and brainstorm and you don't feel if you're like me you write it down you all of a sudden feel committed now okay um, cloth and paper started doing this with the sachets and the bags, but there's a bag in every order and I need to research it or at least look up why they're doing this because it does not seem eco-conscious. Now, it's not like I have solar panels and I'm, who am I to say, but it's like an actual cloth bag. Well, it's nice once in a while. It almost makes me not want to order stuff because I don't want the bags or I'll just say hold it because please don't be wasteful. Um, okay, so now <laughs> rambling greeting cards. Let's say my initial on them. It looks like looks like M E R. Merci. I'm guessing it says merci, even though it's cut off. These are interesting. Um, they had like gratitude cards like this once that were kind of cute. That's something who thinking of you. So they're cute little, just a little old fashioned send a note in the mail, which I actually still do from time to time. So I can appreciate it. Um, I don't know what the people receiving them would think the size, but still cute. Um, these are similar to their other Lux page flags, only these just say record on them. Either record or record, which is fun. Um, but I don't know how I would per se use this one. This one maybe. This is the other one that made me think of. So one is noted, don't forget, and then just like sheets or something. And all of these say record or record, which to be honest, I don't know how to record or record. I don't know. Just, I guess you just use it as a page marker and Meredith don't think too much into what your page marker says. And that's the answer to that. Um, cute little circle page flags. Love these. Um, I will use them. I am a fan of a good circle transparent page flag. So that's nice. Um, eudaimonia. Contented state of being healthy and prosperous. That's cute. This is a personal wide size. Um, if you're, again, if you're new here, I dedicated my subscriptions to personal wine as I was growing up that planner. I used to have an A5 personal and personal wine for a while. 
and around re-budget time I said no thanks I'm going to try to stick to one because otherwise I would get like triple of these too. Um, note to self is cute it gives me a little bit of anxiety with like how it's structured but it's cute it's just very big I have a little acrylic drawer on my desktop where I would put stuff like that to just pull out and reference easily um, and then in here what is this? Good. a lucky find simplicity is ultimately a matter of focus uh, maybe agree and then this is just a standing calendar which for me as a try to minimize the tchotchkes type of person um, I don't know that I would use a stand-up calendar but I do like the concept in theory so all in all it was a unique box um, it would be one where I'm glad I didn't have like the three right because then I'd have like three paperweights <laughs> three other random things um, let's check reflection dangerous satisfactory level importance level reflection area focus achievements to improve satisfactory level importance level q1 q2 q3 q4 this would be this is kind of neat um like for work stuff but that's also i don't know i'd have to think about this Maybe I can keep it with a couple of them in my little goals section of my personal life, even though it's not my goals planner. Um, so that covers it. I felt like I opened a lot of little plastic pieces. Um, so there's a lot to unopen, but um, a couple actual planner things. Like I think this is it. These two things are planner things. The rest are greeting cards, paperweights, desk calendar, big notepad, and my archive box. So, still, still good stuff. Not gonna say I didn't enjoy it. It's just unique. Sometimes it's really unique stuff and I kind of need to figure out what to do with it. But at the end of the day, I think it was... It was all kind of cute. It kind of goes with my Marvel weekend. Um, but that was just a quick unboxing. And I really appreciate you tuning in and sticking around. And uh, welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I've been able to film. But again, just literally just in the last few days out of months and months and months and months of preparing, I've been receiving acceptances and finalizing where I'm going. And it is a... Um, it's more nerve wracking than I thought it was, but at the end of the day, I'm very, very grateful and I'm grateful to all of you for, um, coming back, sticking around and joining. So until then, I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>